now. Something's happening to me. I think I'm starting to develop the ability to control it. I'm becoming one with the Dark Elix and its properties. Just as the Sky Ants feared. Dawkins, I will find you, and I will finish this. What about Dawkins? Can you locate him? Negative. Dawkins outside sensor range. Stay alert. We need to find that son of a bitch. Stand by. Let's get a summary of the tasks we have ahead of us. Stand by. It's about time we took Dawkins out. The sooner the better. Last but not least, we need to get Cassandra to open the gateway to the main former. That's definitely going to be difficult. So let's keep going. We have a lot to do. Stand by. Are you enjoying your new job? It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I just keep telling myself it's better I'm doing this job than anyone else. Even on bad days, it's better me running the Blood Cistern than Marat or Mordrag. But how are things for you? I heard Bahadur doesn't trust you anymore. No, but it doesn't matter. I've got a contract from Lazar with the Outlook. Shh, not so loud. Best to keep stuff like that quiet. But hey, congratulations. I'm glad things are working out for you. You'll see, not much longer now and the Morricons will be barely recognizable.
Another couple of years, maybe. I hope so. But enough talk of the future when there's work to do. See you around. Depends. It's about last probability of survival critically low. It's about last but not least. That's Yeah, I guess. What happened to you? You used to be fun. This idealistic bullshit is really wearing fucking thin. Commander, Dawkins detected near Deltara former. Damn it! We're too late! The Skyans already got him. 
I don't know what they've got planned for him in Deltara, but whatever it is, it won't be good for us. Immediate intervention recommended. Risk of compromise, 98.6%. Yeah, you're right. We gotta drag Dawkins out of there before the Sky Ends squeeze everything out of him. Acknowledged. Finally. I thought I'd never find you. Jax, you're here. You came to save my life? Actually, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Should I ram my gun down your throat now or after you explain things? <sighs> I see. I take it you've spoken to the Skyans. Did you really think you'd keep your story secret forever? No, but I hoped I'd get the chance to explain everything to you before the invaders did. You've had plenty of chances. If things hadn't turned out this way, you probably would have taken the secret to your grave. Maybe you're right, but perhaps we should get out of here before... You're not going anywhere. Not until you tell me everything you've done. To me, to humanity. Well, seems I don't have much choice. All right, let's talk about it if we must. When did you find out about the comet heading for Magalon? Was it before or after you started planning to live forever? The comet wasn't the beginning. I first sighted it five years before it crashed here. But even before that, years before, when I was still a young man, I observed a much more significant phenomenon in the sky. The singularity. All my research, all the observations, all the calculations, they all told me this was an incredible discovery. It was the answer to all the questions humanity had ever asked, and more, much more than that. But I didn't have the resources then to fathom its true nature. Then, years later, when the Infinite Skies Corporation was founded, I had my chance. Unlimited resources, everything I needed, and still, I couldn't really comprehend what I was seeing. It seemed to turn all the laws of physics, all the laws of nature, on their head. The results of my research and the lessons I learned from the Singularity's behavior brought me fame and the recognition of my colleagues. But even when many of them tried to denounce me, I continued my research, though I soon reached the limits of what I could learn. How did you create Elix? I didn't. It was there all along in the Singularity itself. Elix is a part of it. He just needed to be modified and adapted to humans. I was getting old then, increasingly aware of my mortality. I realized I would never reap the rewards of my work if I didn't... Find a way to live forever. Yes. Even there, the Singularity helped me set the wheels in motion. But I couldn't do it down here on Magalon. I had to go up to the Singularity itself. It was the only place with the right conditions. But the journey would have taken far too long. I needed a faster way. A technology you've seen for yourself. It's been a feature of the skies for years, ever since the war against the Alps. You mean the strange ring the hybrid created? Correct. An artificial wormhole. A bridge from this world to another. I sent a group of scientists through it, they came back more than 160 years later as highly developed, immortal beings. Why didn't you go yourself? Why leave it to others? Because of the comet. This rock, this tremendous destructive force on a collision course with our world. I was afraid if I went with them, we'd return to a planet reduced to rubble and dust. And that's exactly what happened. You didn't stop it, whether you were here or on the other side of the galaxy. It wasn't a question of whether it would hit Magalon. The question was whether humanity would survive. You could have saved the planet. 
You could have changed the comet's course with your spacecraft. I tried. I was the one who started projects like Cassandra and Callahan. But when panic breaks out, well, few people are willing to pull together for a common cause. How did the first Elix get into the comet? My Cassandra scientists had to hurry once they reached the Singularity. They quickly had their first success. They sent Blue Elix back to us on a carrier rocket. But soon after launch, it became clear it would never reach Magellan. A fatal miscalculation they could do nothing to correct. But the rocket could reach the comet that was fast approaching the planet. So they steered it onto its path, and soon the Elix was here, and my work could begin. Your work to prolong your miserable life at the expense of millions of other lives. Yes, a tragedy, I admit. How did you manage to smuggle all those scientists aboard Cassandra without anyone realizing it? At first, nobody knew anything about the comet or any spacecraft. Of course, once things were in the open, I was forced to share my research with everyone. Research that might save a lot of lives, maybe all of them. But Cassandra was to be my project. I kept it secret to make sure it didn't suffer the same fate as Callahan. All people did was argue, blaming mistakes on each other. I couldn't allow that to happen with Cassandra. So... So you got rid of anyone who could have talked about it, right? It was a dark time. Not one I'm proud of. Your scientists, or whatever they are now, spoke of the Singularity as if it were a god. Isn't it? It contains secrets that no one, not even I, could ever discover. Not in a thousand lifetimes of research. It gives eternal life. It creates new life forms from nothing. It decides whether we all live or die. Principal Teak says it's moving towards us. It could hit us at any moment. And from what you're telling me, this is nothing like a simple comet. This will destroy us all. So what is it, if not pure divinity? Stop fucking with me! How do we stop it, genius? The Skyans have been set on their path from the very beginning. It's this plan that drives them. It's their reason for being. The reason anyone who gets in its way is destroyed. Oh yeah? So what is this plan? All in good time, Jax. We need to survive this war before we can move on to the next one. What about the DNA replication? Why did you share your genes with me? I've been trying to prepare the planet for the arrival of the Skyans for years. That's what the Albs and their directive were for. And for a while it was working. But once the Albs set up the first converter in the lands of the Free People, the tide turned. The hybrid, that thing I was a part of once, sensed resistance among the Albs. There were a lot of skeptics and even saboteurs, especially among the technicians. The foundation of a hostile group, the Separatists, became inevitable. But there you were. A highly effective and confident commander. Even then, your willpower was a thing to behold. I replicated my own DNA with that of the Alb with the greatest mental strength I could find to protect myself and my legacy. It was a backup, if you will. Being in the hybrid capsule prevented me from doing anything as mundane as procreating. That explains your interest in my son. But you won't be going near him again. I'll make sure of that. After the replication, your willpower became even stronger. You were the only one who could resist being promoted to Alexander. Even implanting a control chip in your head had little effect. That's one reason I chose you to establish and lead the Sixth Power. If anyone can stop the Skyans, it's you. Where does this great willpower come from? What did you do to me that even the Skyans don't understand? The gifts to exercise great power over Elix are rooted in the configuration and harmonies of an individual's DNA. And willpower is one of these gifts. There are others, such as superhuman creativity or imagination. Or superhuman strategic and mathematical problem-solving. 
You and I are not just the humanoid anomalies the Skyans would have us believe. We are Elix Elementals, my friend. Our gifts give us the power to shape both ourselves and the fate of the world. Why the sixth power? Why so much effort? Because the Skyans want to level the planet, and I no longer have the power to stop them. I'm not one of them anymore. I'm their enemy. Who can blame them for wanting you dead? All these elaborate schemes, all that effort, for such a long time. Well, that's the price of eternal life. And I'm paying it now. And so is everyone else, you bastard. You're nothing but a murderer. Maybe. But the Sky and it are far worse. Just think of the sheer scale of what they're doing. And what about what we did in those converters? Squeezing the Elix out of people. What is it you want, Jax? Justice? World peace? What's that compared to standing before God and being granted eternal life? You've done nothing but lie and manipulate me. Well, I'm done. The super soldier you bred to serve you quits right here and now. There's no need for us to be at odds, Jax. Of course there is. It's the only way I'll ever be free. Fine, if that's the way you want it. Just don't expect me to give up without a fight. If I win, I promise to honor your legacy. Your work will not have been in vain. Enough talking. Let's end this now. As you wish. Big mistake! <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Damn it. That son of a bitch. It doesn't matter. I need to keep going. Otherwise, there'll be nothing left to fight for. Probability of human survival within critical range. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's get a summary of the tasks we have ahead of us. Stand by. We've cleared all the obstacles that have stopped us from marching into Marakor. Now the Sixth Power can do what it was meant to do. I'll go through the plan of attack in Marakor with Thialg. We'll free the territories from the invaders. But what then? We still haven't got a plan for how we're going to get the gateway open. Probability that Cassandra will cooperate, 0%. Yeah, I know, little guy. Her machines aren't taking any half measures. Nobody can match up to their willpower. Analyzing. Also, I still don't know how we're supposed to get in. Let's take care of the other things first. I'll figure out the rest as we go. Acknowledged. <laughs> This is it. Let's gather the forces of the Sixth Power and march into Marakor. Yes. Now is the time. I've received reports of Skyan troops moving into Marakor. A principal and his combat troop are waiting in the center of Marakor on the command of the main former. Another is located in the corporate ruins to the west of this territory. There's also a group of Skyans in one of the Skyanid infested sectors on the front line in Marakor. Reportedly, there's a second group directly behind them, in the uninhabitable sector. Of course, they're at the entrance to the pass that leads to this cursed land of Marakor. All factions are about to invade our territories with their primary forces. If we don't deal with this now, it may already be too late. So what's your plan? Our military forces will take care of the Sky and Curators and Agitators. You and your comrades can help best by taking care of their leader. Then destroy everything that's left. So let's go. We're ready to march immediately. Very good. Let's end this invasion as quickly as we can. Move out! Hmm. Well, then...